Hey guys, Jen from Vent Yoga here, and we are going through the yamas. Now, the yamas are these moral, ethical disciplines that we have, and it's the first step. The yamas are the first step in the eight limb path. So, we went through ahimsa, this non violence. And the second yama that we're going to go through is called satya. Now, satya is called or is defined a lot of times as truthfulness. But we can't stop there. It's about more than just not telling lies. A lot of times when we hear um, truthfulness, then we think about what comes out of our mouth. Is it, truth, is it true or is it not? But truthfulness has, just like ahimsa has, a different root that starts within you before that action comes out of you. So does Satya. So this truthfulness, yes, it's 100% if you are honest with others, but it's also if you're honest with yourself. Because if you are not honest with yourself, it's very, very difficult for you to be honest with others. So again, we have to start at the root. In order to practice this moral discipline, in order to practice this Satya in our life, we first have to identify the obstacles with it, within us. What don't we tell ourselves the truth about? This can look in many, like many different things. So it could be on your mat. Are you truly ready for this posture? Or are you doing it for a different reason? Ego, competitive, when you're taking a break in yoga on your mat, do you truly need the break? Or are you trying to escape the uncomfortable? Because it's tough. It's tough to deal with the uncomfortable, right? Off your mat, how many times have you done something that you don't really want to do, but yet you fake that you want to do it? Yeah, I definitely, I want to go out and, you know, get dinner with, your mother-in-law? I don't know. It's okay to do things you don't want to do, but you have to own within you the honesty. I'm not saying you have to go tell everyone those pants make you look fat. Not at all. Inside, though, you have to know what's real and what's not real. Because if you are trying to tell yourself that you really want to do this, and deep down you don't want to do this, but you feel bad or something like that, this is where how we were talking about things start to fester. And it's really hard for you to tell the truth to others when you lie to yourself. So in order to practice the self-discipline, you have to acknowledge what you're feeling about things. Now there are a lot of times that we lie to ourselves, we don't realize that we're doing it. The number one time is when we associate ourselves with an emotion. I am happy. Nope, you're not an emotion. You feel happy, but you're not happy. Your identity is not tied to that emotion. Now, happy you know, isn't as detrimental, but if, what if you say, I suck, I am depressed. What happens is, is that you start believing that. You're lying to yourself by connecting yourself as that emotion. You're identifying yourself with that emotion. And then the more that you say it, the more that you think it, it's hurting you. Yoga has, yoga teachings teach us to detach ourselves from those thoughts, from those emotions. You are not your thoughts. You are not your emotions. You are completely separate and you can step outside and hang out over here and just watch all the stuff going on inside your brain. So this honesty is you have to understand that it's okay whatever you're thinking. It's okay whatever you're feeling. But that is not your reality. Your reality is not that you are depressed. Your reality is 
You are feeling depressed at this moment. You are feeling happy at this moment. So this satya, this honesty, this truthfulness, it's more about looking at what's real and owning that. Another way that we a lot of times will will not practice this truthfulness or this honesty is when we put expectations on something. So you're studying for a test and you're just, you're ready. You're so ready for this test and you go and you take it and then you think you rocked it out and then you get a D on it. Your expectation was you were ace in this test, right? Your reality, you've already created the outcome in your own mind. And when the real outcome does not match that outcome, you get upset. This satya, this teaches us to look at what is true, what is real, what is unchangeable. What's real, you got a D. But if you were putting, projecting your own stories, your own expectations on that, then all of a sudden, your whole everything relied on that. You put all your eggs in that basket, and when reality tries to show itself to you, you resist. But I studied for it. I'm going to talk to the teacher. Oh, I think I did good on that. You resist reality. That is going against this discipline of satya, accepting reality, telling yourself the truth, knowing that you are not your emotions, and your thoughts. So if you want to start doing more of these yamas, the number one thing is sit back and listen to the words you use to talk about yourself. Do you identify, do you put your own identity onto your thoughts? I'm so stupid, I got a D on that test. No, you're not stupid, but you did get a D on that test. And that's okay. So before we can be truthful with the world around us, we have to conquer it within us first. We have to notice all of those times that we're lying to ourselves, consciously or subconsciously, and we have to notice when we're not looking at a situation real, a real, the reality of the situation, when we're looking through whatever lens our expectations put over our face. So next time you go to your mat, Sit back and actually think, why am I doing this posture? Why am I doing it the way I'm doing it? Is it for ego? Is it because I'm ready? Am I pushing myself hard enough? Am I not pushing myself enough? Just start to play with this honesty when you're on your mat. Just be raw and be honest and fall and get back up. And let it just pour out of you. And that's how you begin to practice this yama called satya.